Unquestionably, Moscow, the center of the soccer world today. Not only did it host the World Cup draw, it's also going to be the site for next summer's opening game and World Cup final. Today, though, is all about determining the tournament bracket. Mm. Fun day. Fun day. <laughs> What's a fun day? Right. All 32 nations have been divided into eight groups of four. Top two in each section automatically move on to the knockout stage. Something to keep in mind, the last three finals, Kate, have all gone to extra time. All right, let's take a look at uh, how the draw shook out, shall we? Uh, let's dive in with Group A, the host Russia. I think it's fair to say can't have too much to complain about in this one. Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Uruguay. Looks uh, hopeable with. Manageable. Landon's going to talk about that group in a second. Let's head over to Group B. Heavy hitters at the top. It's kind of front-loaded with Portugal and Spain, followed by Morocco and Iran. Group C should be an interesting one as well. Uh, France, uh, huge expectations on them to do well. We're stacked with talent as they are up against Australia, Peru and Denmark. Over in Group D, third straight World Cup, Argentina and Nigeria are paired together. Remember, Croatia and Iceland were in the same UEFA World Cup qualifying group. Uh, first team to qualify for this 2018 World Cup, Brazil up against uh, Switzerland, Costa Rica and Serbia. So Neymar and his side looking to shine against those three. We may have found our group of death over in F. Three teams inside the top 25, led by the number one overall team, according to the Lisa, latest FIFA rankings, Germany. How about this one, my friends? England looking set to top Group G with that draw. Belgium, Panama, Tunisia, I'm sure you all agree. <laughs> Could you hear the pep in her step right there when she talked about Group B? Got to in the group. Over right. to Group H. Interesting nugget here about Colombia, the 13 overall ranked team in the, nation, uh, in the world. 376 miles they will travel here at the World Cup. That is the lowest of the 32 Jeez. nations. So some early fascinating storylines already developing. And the, the first one, we talk about group of death all the time, but there is a group of life. And it is group A, and yep. wow, the hosts find themselves... In the group of life, how convenient! No idea how that happened. Um, <laughs> I drew the short end of the straws here by having to do the group of life. Just kidding. I said earlier in our pregame, the way the rankings are now, it lends for the opportunity to have these groups of life. And for Russia, Saudi Arabia is their first match. You absolutely expect Russia to win that match. Egypt are a little bit of a dark horse with Mo Salah, who plays for Liverpool, is on form like unlike anybody probably in the in the world right now. Uruguay, a little bit unknown, but have some, some very special, talented players. But that is a group where every team coming in, even Saudi Arabia, could say, hey, we know Egypt. We could, we could play Egypt. We could beat Egypt. Uruguay, maybe we can pull off a special result. Russia aren't, you know, they are the lowest ranked team in this World Cup. So this is a group where everybody feels like they and, have and a legit And the second chance. lowest ranked team? Saudi Arabia. Right. Mm -hmm. They happen to open up the tournament with. We all know how important it is to get off to a good, fast start in World Cup play. But I think this, this group is, is kind of comfortable for Uruguay. We know the, the South American team, they know how to play these games. It might not be pretty, but they know how to play these games. They have Luis Suarez, they have Cavani. They're really good. And let's flip over to Group E right now and Brazil, the headliner in that group, Mark. Obviously, Brazil, uh, uh, the powerhouse in that group with Switzerland, Costa Rica, and Serbia. I don't like Costa Rica this year. They did an amazing job in the last World Cup, but I think that team is getting old. I, I don't see younger players, maybe Campbell, uh, but I, I don't think they will... They will uh, What's wrong with fight. getting old, by the way? No, no, I mean, there's nothing wrong, but you need young players Experience. to... to yeah, that's true, but you also need <laughs> younger players. Uh, the, the next generation, I think Costa Rica doesn't have that. And I think Chiche, uh, with Brazil, after the nightmare that was uh, the last World Cup for them, they have uh, a solid squad with superstar Neymar, with Coutinho, with Firmino. They have a solid squad. All right, I'm going to go to a group that Kate is going to love. All right, she's already got... See her uh, beaming uh, over there. Group, <laughs> group G. I'm going to love the group. Kate's I'm not got, sure I'm going to love your pick. She's got, she's got England winning the whole group. There is no way. Tell me there is. There is no way that England could possibly screw this up. 
<laughs> given the competition. They start off the tournament against Tunisia. Easy three points, right? No problem? Absolutely. Look, <laughs> look, it's never that easy in a World Cup, and especially not for England. I'll be very interested to see, and I gotta say it, you see Panama right there? Well, for all you U.S. fans, that potentially could have been where the United States ended up. A Belgium, United States first game in a World Cup. That would have been very interesting, but it's not gonna happen because Panama got the job done, and they face off against Belgium, and I'll talk a little bit more about Belgium Don't sleep on Panama, on. by the way. That's Canal a that, Yeah, they are experienced. The, old, the old. oldest team in the tournament. But they are, they are a team that will not fear any of these teams, <laughs> and, and it's probably their last go of it with this group of players.